Okay, carefully line this up right here. And finished. Hello everybody, welcome to another Happy Friday video. This is another Minecraft Survival Basics video. And today, uh, as you can see, I actually just finished uh, decorating the basement and creating my storage space like I said I would. I, sorry it took me a while, guys. Uh, on that note, uh, apologies in advance for missing last week, missing posting, bit, missing posting a video last week. It just kind of got crazy and I had a lot of extra stuff to do at school. So I just kind of ran out of time to post the video. So sorry about that. But here I am again this Friday. And today I'm going to give you a quick little tour of the storage room. And then I'm also going to be showing you guys today the basics for making your own enchanting table. And just kind of the basic functions of it. But first, the tour. I had a little help from a special friend to get the materials because these materials are a little harder to get. But as you can see, I finally have a space to put everything. Uh, as of now, um, lag. As of now, I haven't done any sorting as of yet, but I can do that later um, off camera. For now, I'm just gonna um, drop a bunch of these things because I don't need these with me at the moment. Drop that. Okay, that should be good. Empty up, free up a little space there. So yeah, I went with the putting the chest into the wall technique. And then I put some crafting tables in the floor just to save space. I put my furnaces in the wall to again save space. I used the new lanterns. I love these lanterns so much. I like how they just look aesthetically pleasing to me. And then here is where the enchanting area is going to be. Um, ignore the fact that there's stone here. There are gonna be I'm gonna be placing blocks there later, so there's no point in doing anything to them at the moment. And then over here, as you can see, I'm just pointing you in a different direction with those arrows. That is gonna be in a later video when we are gonna need to add another room for what we're gonna be doing. I'll just leave I'll just leave you with that much and leave it mostly vague. So, moving on to what we're doing today, we are going to make our enchanting table. So, the three things I'm going to do is I'm going to, one, um, show you where you can find your materials to craft an actual enchanting table. Then, I'm going to show you how to craft it. And then, third thing will be I'll just kind of show you guys, like, the basics of how you actually work the enchanting table. So. I need to gather a few things and then we are going to be going to the mines. Give me just a minute. Rock is mining, mining, mining. I'm walking into a tree and glitching out. Oh, that was bad. Okay, so what we're going to need, our first ingredient is obsidian. We're going to need specifically uh, three pieces here. Let me show you guys the recipe. Uh, let me get to the search bar. Search. 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 Oh, I, I forgot. I need to be on a crafting bench to actually like see the recipe. Rewind! Go backwards! Here is the actual recipe. We're going to need exactly three pieces of obsidian, two diamonds, and one book. We're going to go and get the obsidian first because we've already gotten diamonds. Uh, if you want to know how to quickly find diamonds on your own, I'll leave a link to my video on how to quickly find diamonds. It'll be either up here on screen or down in the description below. Just in case you want to know that. Okay, now we are actually going to go down into the mine now that you guys have seen the recipe. You know that we're going to need exactly... Bit, bit, words... We're going to need exactly a few pieces of cobblestone. Because that, that is a very exact measurement right there. That is not made up. It is totally fine. And so I'm going to go down into my mine. Uh, I'm going to be a few minutes because it takes a while to get all the way down there. So I will, I'll meet you guys down in the mine. Okay guys, I am now down in the mine. And what you want to do in your mine is you want to get down to lava level because that's what we need to find. So I should probably watch where I'm going because I'll I'll probably 
just fall into lava. That, that would be something I would definitely do. Uh, little fun tip, if you want to go extra fast in a tunnel that's this size, you can jump up and down and you move. I'm actually... Uh, glitch. Maybe I maybe I shouldn't do that. I apparently will lag out. Here we go. Here we go. There's lots of ores and things that I need to get from down here. Yes. Okay, uh, this isn't exactly what I wanted to find. Um, I wanted to, like, show you guys... Uh, here we go. How to actually, like, make the obsidian. And what you need is you need to find some lava. It has to be a source block. It can't be flowing lava. It will not work. Oh, that would... How do I get that angle? I can't find the angle again. That was cool. But you need a full block of lava. A source block. And then you need a bucket of water. And then just place it nearby. And it'll turn it all into obsidian. Now, a good thing to do... Lag. A good thing to do would be to have just the water flowing nearby. So this way... If you should happen to, like, dig down and, like, land in the lava, you are less likely to die from it. Or catch on fire and stuff. You know, stuff you generally tend to avoid. Um, let's try putting it right there. This way, the obsidian will flow towards me when I break it out. And also, um, don't do what I just did. Use a diamond pickaxe because that is the only way you are going to be able to mine up obsidian. It is one of the toughest materials in the game, minus bedrock, but as I've said in a past video, you can't break bedrock unless you are an admin or a wizard. Or you figured out how to break bedrock. There are actually a few methods, I think, to doing that. I don't really know any. Maybe I could try that later. Four. As you can see, it takes a minute, so make sure you light up your area around you just so you're not going to have to worry about just dying. I'm going to take this with me. And I'm going to go ahead and mine two extra just to be safe. I say be safe as I am doing this with no water, but I have the water bucket on me, so I should be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's definitely fine. I am not going to burst into flames this time, probably. And uh, something else, another material you're going to want is lapis, which I'm going to go ahead and grab the lapis here, since I'm able to see some right at the moment. Because you're going to need this to actually power the enchanting table. Little side fact. Alright, so now... I have diamonds I've already collected, I have lapis, I have obsidian. Now we just need a book. So we need to go up onto the surface for this part, because there are two materials we're going to need. And I will tell you as soon as I get to the surface. No, yeah, that would have been bad. Uh, I have lost my tunnel to the surface. I should have marked it better. Oh, more diamonds. How did I miss those before? I'm going to grab them now. Check around. Check around. Is there lava? Yep. That would have ended very, very badly. I would have been very mad at myself here. Oh, I actually would have been okay. Yeah, I didn't originally plan on get gathering every single material, but uh, apparently that's how it's going to work out. Now, if I can just find my way out of this mine, everything will be just dandy. Lag. Finally, I found my tunnel. Uh, leave clear torch marks of where your exit tunnel is. Don't, don't do what I did there. That, I'm not performing very well on camera today. Tripping over my words. I've almost fallen into lava. I'm losing my way in my cave. Hopefully things will go better. And back to the surface. Made it all the way back to here. That that took a while, guys. I'm sorry. I got lost in my own tunnel. But now that we're here on the surface, we're going to look for the ingredients to create the final ingredient. It's like a game. You have to do several quests to complete the one major quest. So what we need is we need to find leather from a cow. And we need to find reeds so we can make paper. 
So we're gonna look around and see if we can find either cows or reeds. There's a cow. Are there lots of trident people here? Nope. Oh, oh dear. Jump! Make it, make it, don't glitch. Yes. Okay, now I just need him to drop leather. Okay, Mr. Cow, do we have an understanding? I, I need an ingredient here, and uh, I am sorry. Did you not drop it? He didn't drop it. Okay, we need to find another cow. There's that bat that's been hanging around here on the surface. I wish he would be my friend. Minecraft developers, let's have, we need to be able to pet our wolves and we need bats as our pets. Though there's probably mod packs for that, maybe? Drop leather, mm. drop it, mm. drop. Any? Nope. Okay, on to finding cow number three. I'm also going to stay nearby the river because that's where you can usually find reeds. Ow. How'd you manage to get there? How am I gonna manage to get there? There's another bat. Okay. I am going, going to try and do something smart. And don't fall off. Yes, leather! I just need one, I just need one. We have leather. Okay, now I just need to find some reeds. You guys, I finally found some reeds, and I also found a donkey or a mule. I think, I think they're donkeys. Found a herd of donkeys. What do you call a herd of donkeys? Okay. Grab, break the base of it, and then it breaks all of it. Okay, I just need three pieces. How many do we have? Four. We are good. We have a spare. And I need to make my way back home now. I followed this river for a while. So, going back home, and then I'm going to show you guys how to craft everything down in my storage room. So I will, I will talk to you guys in a second. Home sweet home. And now that I'm here, I can show you guys how to craft all of the pieces. So, let's go for it. Use this crafting table here. Okay, so, first we need to make the book. Now, to make a book, let's see if I can remember the recipe off the top of my head. You need to just put a piece of leather in one corner. Oh, uh, wait. Ah. I did a miscalculation. You need, I think you need three sugar cane to create one piece of paper. No, it'll create three pieces of paper. Oh, good. That's exactly what we need. Yes, thank you, crafting ratios. So put a piece there, 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 get rid of that, and place the leather right there, and we have a book. And now, I didn't need to exit out, but I did, we can create our enchanting table. And I can just click on that, and that will instantly create it for me. But you guys can see the recipe, here I'll bring it up again, the recipe right here, just need four pieces of obsidian, two diamonds, and one book, and I've shown you guys how to do all of those. So now that I've created my crafting table, I'm going to place it right there. Boop! Look at it. It is so magical and enchanting. So once you actually have your enchanting table, you're going to want to surround it with books. That's why I have this stone in this area, because that's how many bookshelves I'm going to make. Now, to create a bookshelf, I, I had gathered materials in advance and placed them in this chest in the crafting recipe shape, so that way you could see it again. Now, to create a bookshelf, it's just three books on, three pieces of planks on top, three books in the middle, and three more planks at the bottom, and that creates a bookshelf. And you guys already know how to get all these materials if you've been watching some of my past videos. And again, here's the enchanting table crafting recipe. And then I had a friend give me some bottles of enchanting for the next part when I show you how to actually use it. So I'm going to fully set this up by getting all the bookshelves to surround it. Now what it does is it powers, it like super powers the enchanting table. You see like these letters are now popping up everywhere. 
that's because it's starting to get supercharged. Now, when you do that, you just want to put in enough to make it level 30, which is the max level. Huh? Um, excuse me? Are you upset because of that? Let's try now. Oh, I think it's because the uh, chest here is too close. That might mm, but it has one block around each side of it. And uh, that's another minor note. You need to have one block all the way of open space all the way around the enchanted table. You should be able to fully walk around it. And it should be showing Oh yeah, because I need a duh, I need to put a tool in there to actually enchant. So let's put in our diamond pickaxe, because that is fancy and it deserves very nice treatment. Now, to show you, um, here, I need to get some bottles of enchanting and get some levels first. And then I'm going to show you guys how to actually work the enchanting table now that you have one. Break everything! I feel the power! The enchanting power! I'm, I can feel it flowing into me! And almost there! Almost there! Oh, no! It's so close! I'm so close to level 30! I, I need to... I'll be back. I'm gonna go get experience and be at level 30. Actually, no wait. I had some spare bottles of enchanting given to me just in case it wasn't gonna be enough. I think there's like 10-ish more. One second, I, it's in one of these chests. I, I, I'm just gonna have to uh, remember which chest I put it in. Give me a minute. Here we go. The spare bottles of enchanting. So let me just use these real quick. And level 30. This is what you want for just lots of enchanting. So here we go, guys. Now, you just click on your enchanting table and you put a tool in. And then 30 is the max enchantment. Ooh, we can get silk touch. I don't exactly want that for a diamond pickaxe, but for the sake of the video, we're just going to keep going. Now, I need lapis. And for each one of these, it's going to take different levels. This is how many levels it's going to cost to get it. That's why I wanted to get to level 30 to give you guys the max enchantment. And then the 1, 2, and 3 over here, that's how many pieces of lapis it's going to use. So we're going to use 3 pieces of lapis and 30 levels. We're going to get silk touch and hopefully since we've maxed out the enchanting table power, we shall hopefully get something else along with it. If not, I just have horrible luck. So, here we go. 3, 2, 1. What do we get? What do we get? Ooh. Okay, it's not horrible. We got Silk Touch, Unbreaking 3, and Efficiency 3. So that's good if I like want to break a bunch of stuff really quickly. But for Silk Touch, I'd probably rather put that on like an axe, just because I prefer this to have Fortune on it. But that will be for another day. So guys, this is how you create your enchanting table, this is how you do the setup, and this is how it works. Now. I'm not going to go into the details of what the different enchanting, different enchants actually do. I will save that for a different video. Today is just going to focus on actually creating your enchanting table and knowing how to use it. Because you are going to want this for when you go to the nether. But that will be in a different video. Hopefully the next video. And just a quick announcement before I go and before I do my outro and all that fun stuff. I am going to be branching out on my channel a little bit and adding a few different games. Uh, hopefully next week, if my uh, video attempts, recording attempts go well, we shall have a double video on that next Friday if things go well. If not, I will just do the one video of either more Minecraft Survival Basics or of a different game. So we will see how this goes. But anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, poke the subscribing bell, that poke the subscribe button, and also hit that bell so that way you get notifications for future Friday videos. I, I like I said, I update on Fridays. So without further ado, goodbye.